Hi, welcome to the Meta Report. My name's Baz the Bard and I have been joined by Dylan Thompson, the current Irish national champion. How are you doing, Dylan? I'm good. How are you, Baz? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I've just about recovered from Worlds. Um, it, it took me a while, long days, um, you know, setting up the stream and, and, and running it. But um, yeah, it was it was really good, really stressful, but really good. Um, how was your Worlds? Oh, Worlds is great. I just, I love the Flesh and Blood community. It was amazing meeting everyone and really great event. <laughs> yeah, I see you sitting at the same table with Brody Spurlock, Michael Hamilton. They were playing some dice game and you you were involved and I was like, this is nice company yeah. you're keeping. It's really good. So, so uh, Sasha Markovic was uh, touring is like the games he develops. So yeah. it was... Um, it was me, uh, Brody, Michael Hamilton, and Sam Sutherland were playing his demo. Yeah. And then we ended up just playing some dice games to mess around afterwards. <laughs> uh, I, I, in, the, in the player presentation, um, the keynote speech, I walked past, um, I bumped into Sam uh, Sutherland, and I was like, oh my God, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, um, Dash deck techs, that was awesome, brilliant. I've been using your deck, thank you very much. He had no idea who I was. And as I walked away, uh, I heard you go, uh, you know who that is, that's Baz, didn't you? And he probably just went, yeah, I've never heard of him. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, me and Sam are good friends. Like, um, after he won the calling, uh, I think it was Singapore that he won, um, I messaged him on Discord because he wore uh, a Xenoblade Chronicles t-shirt, t-shirt, oh, wow. which is one of my favorite games. I just messaged him, I was like, oh yeah, winning the calling is cool or whatever, but like, what do you think of Xenoblade? And we just kind of became friends after that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's weird how everyone in the fab community always has the same interests. It's just like, yeah, it's bizarre. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it makes the community better. Righty, so we are here for Skirmish. You love Blitz. Um, we've got you Love on. It. So, um, yeah, you messaged me and you just went, when am I going to have someone from Ireland on? And I was like, well, I, yeah. can't, I can't say no, can I? So uh, here you are. <laughs> and uh, what better... represent. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And what better place to start? Let, let's say about your credentials. Um, so Irish National Champion 2023. Uh, you won three Pro Quests in 2023. You won a Skirmish 6 with Oldham and two Skirmish 7s with Chain. OK, so, uh, you know, slouch when it comes to this game. Um, so you've done very well. Um, both of the heroes you took for skirmishes um, have uh, allowed in Living Legend uh, for their adult hero. Chain has now left us for Blitz. Um, yeah. So uh, bye bye, Chain. Uh, let's find another hero. And um, what was the other one? And oh, yeah. Iceland is gone. So uh, the world has changed um, for the better now that Iceland is gone. I can say that uh -huh. my name is not going to be on the honor roll, on the uh, roll of honor uh, because I've never played her. So, um, but I'm glad to see the back of her. Right, uh, right, okay. So, look at this. We're starting in Ireland. So, replay games, uh, banger, Northern Ireland, seven players. Uh, this is the top two. I don't have any breakdowns. Um, and this is Conor McLaughlin versus Jay Donaldson. Never heard of these guys before. Uh, I, I take it you play with them quite regularly? Yeah, so Conor and Jay would be kind of staples for the community. You'd see them at like most events, nationals, RTNs. Mm -hmm. Conor mostly plays uh, Dromine Fi, I think, so a Draconic player. And then Jay would play Icelander and Katsu. Oh, so right. it's good seeing their names in a final. Yeah, nice. Okie dokie. So who do you reckon is going to take it? You know these players, I don't. Who do you reckon? It's a mirror match. Oh, I saw the picture. I I know. I knew this was the final. I don't I don't remember who won. Oh, that's um, good. We're just going on play reputation. Uh, <laughs> don't take two. I'd have to say Connor, probably. I'll put my money on. Connor. He did win it. Hey, there we nice. go and that is the motley crew who turned up to replay games so well done everybody yeah, for that sealed event races. well well done connor uh well right done, connor. <laughs> the, the, the guy at the back i take it connor's in the in the red tartan type thing is he yeah that's connor yeah the, the guy to the right of him he, he um doesn't look very happy for some reason <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. I, I, don't, I don't think they told him they were taking a picture at that time. But uh, right, oh. okay, let's move on. Seventh Dimension. 
Okay, Belfast. This is like the staple place. There's two staples really um, yeah. for for Fab. You got Seventh Dimension, um, and we have is Underworld Gaming, uh, and there's a third, yeah. the third, uh, the Gathering in Limerick yeah. that's um, getting to quite a few now. Yeah. Okay, Gavin Caldwell. So we saw him before. He's a ProQuest Four winner at Seventh Dimension, and um, he won with Dory Axes, didn't he? Um, yeah. we, we won't say, um, what, um, Jack. What put, card he won with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, he won with, uh, Steel Blade Shunt, but we, we, we won't say what else they called him. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> and Stephen McKeever, he's the first player in Ireland to hit a thousand XP. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, who do you reckon won? Two Teclavossans in a sealed. Who has the most armor? Who can fatigue the most? Who can get their level of work in? So, Steven is a very good player. He's always been very consistent. I don't think he's ever missed a top eight at an event. I don't think he's given enough credit for that. He mostly reaches the final in every top eight he makes as well. So I think this is time for Steven's win. Steven's win. It was Steven's win. Congratulations, Steven. Well done. A <laughs> uh, thousand XP is a f fantastic achievement to do, and you're back to your winning ways. So like it, it was like Steven, Ian, and you. Um, that's like the yeah. three main winners. Um, Stephen was obviously winning when I first started doing it in 2021. And then you guys like um, Dylan and, and Ian have sort of like taken over that mantle for the most regular wins. But yeah, it's good to see um, Stephen pick up a win. Get Getting back yeah. to your winning ways, mate. Well done. Uh, Stephen was in second for a long time. So I'm glad to see him pick up a win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Underworld Gaming. It, you've just had all sealed. Yeah. Um, events yeah. so uh this is in dublin this is the other big place uh in ireland uh seven players uh this is uh the final is between lorenzo patron he won the rtn uh, um 2023 at the gathering in limerick he turned up the day early uh just to find out where the place was realized he cocked up the day and basically took the three hour bus trip all the way home so but this event he only turned up an hour early so he's getting better yeah. uh dylan tormangalov um, the Mangalove, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's playing Dash Database. So, yeah, it's a tricky one. Can be fatigued out quite easily with um against Dash. Or you can fatigue Dash quite easily, I should say, depending on what um equipment she's got. Do you know yeah, the winner? The, I do know the winner. I will say about the matchup is uh, if the Dash pool is really good, it's, it's really good to anti-fatigue. Like we saw... Dash went 3-0 at Worlds in the draft. Mm -hmm. But Teclo is very good at fatiguing in a sealed format. So normally my money would be on Teclo, but I think the result will show something else. Okay. <laughs> you might have a different result then. Because oh, I, sorry. I, I had Lorenzo sorry. winning this one. Um, uh, then... Lorenzo was on Dash.io, not Dylan. Oh, was That's it? The... Shit. Yeah. Okay. I totally cocked up. Okay. Well done, Lorenzo. I got the right winner. Um, but Lorenzo um, on Dash IO, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Lorenzo's a dab hand at um, uh, at art, uh, being an artist as well. Um, he's drawn his own um, drawn his own uh, play mat. So he got there an hour early, made his play mat. So if you want a custom play mat from Lorenzo, contact him on the <laughs> Irish Discord and he'll make you one. A fantastic yeah. uh, play mat like that. <laughs> Uh, it's got a few people signing it as well. So, uh, well done, mate. Uh, right, Hello. okay. Uh, I need to change that because that's Dash. Sorry. Uh, so, off to Highlander Games in Dundee. Eight players. Okay, Aaron Lawrenson. Um, I haven't got any wins for Aaron. Andrew Rayner, on the other hand. Uh, he's got a Skirmish 6 win, an RTN 2023 win, a ProQuest win, and they are all at Highlander Games. Now, Andrew also runs Thistle Tavern. So uh, if you want 10% discount off of Thistle Tavern of Flesh and Blood products and accessories, uh, then uh, join my Patreon and uh, we'll give you the code. Okay, so um, who do you reckon? Aaron Lawrenson on Teclo or Andrew on Max? So a defending champion with Andrew. Hmm. I'll put money on Max. <laughs> put your money on Max. There we go. The boss is in the house, yeah. and he's not really, and he's still the boss. Andrew, well we done. Love, we well love done, a fella. dominant player. We love a dominant player. <laughs> <laughs> he must just go in and just go, where's my coffee? <laughs> in my cup. <laughs> Excuse me, you're sitting in my chair. 
<laughs> no, Andrew's a really nice guy, so I, I, I wouldn't have thought he'd do that. Right, okay, so... Good job, Andrew. <laughs> we're off to Aberdeen. Geek Retreat, Aberdeen, nine players. So Skirmish always gets, um, like, a lower turnout. So, like, the big boys um, don't really come to Skirmishes. Uh, there's no PTIs. There's no gold foils. Um, so this is a good way, for, like, um, so the players... Um, that aren't normally hitting it in the RTNs to, to pick some wins up and, and, and nab some swag. Okay, so nine players. This is the top four. Uh, Joel Renson, David McCallan, and Pontus Angus Four are all on Teklavossen. And Andrew Rayner, uh, who won the day before in Highlander Games, is on Dash Database. Okay, so um, three Teklavossens are all duking it out. We shall get to the finalists. Okay, David McCallan versus Pontus Angusfer. Teklavossen. Uh, it's, uh, I think this is mainly just take your pick. Whose name do you like the yeah. most, mate? Um, I'll go with David. There we go. Spot on. Look at you. Oh. Look at you go. There we go. <laughs> Who was it that was on the show that got zero right? Uh, uh, I don't know. It must have been the early days. Uh, when George yeah. is on, he's norm he's normally really good. He he's just like, yeah, I know the result to this. Yeah, I know the result to this. And he, he just trying to go for a perfect score. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, well done, David. Um, okay. Right. So Woking. Yeah, uh, this is a new store, the Woking War Game Store. I had to actually look up where Woking was. I thought it was up north. So it's basically <laughs> southwest of London. Um, so a lot of the London crowd um, would have made it. Uh, eight of them, or nine players, I should say. Uh, five dash. That is a massive amount of dash players for a sealed. Three uh, Teklavossen and one max. I would have thought there would have been one more than one max in a sealed event. Yeah. You're just like, if in doubt... You know, if you don't oh, get max. many Evos, if you don't get much equipment, you go in max. Um, I, I played Alan uh, at the at Manuscrew uh, yesterday. Uh, and we cracked two boxes. We had five games of sealed, and I played max in all of them. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just think for, for Teclo, unless you pull in sentry bases um, and some other, you know, two armor, like the yellow twos, um, I, just uh, thought, I just think it's... it's I think with... Teclo, it's you kind of just need one for each slot, and that's mostly for the mirror. Like the way the format works is it's so you have two health totals that if you have enough block threes, you can kind of just go into Teclo if you have any Evo to use your gun. Mm -hmm. But if you have too many block twos with the bases, it can get a bit clunky. I do think Max is probably the go to in sealed, but in draft, it would probably be Teclo. I, I really like the um, instant evos. Um, I, yeah. I think they're really good. I played instant evos with uh, Teclavossen in the sealed, like the pre-release sealed. Is that the 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 buzz ones, like yeah. the chest that gives you a resource? That is my favorite card in sealed for this. Yeah. Uh, I got... was I was four zero in the calling at Worlds because of that card. Every mm. time I played it, I would like give the gun go again and then play like a three for seven it's so good <laughs> <laughs> i like the arms as well gives you plus one this is basically just yeah. an instant breaking scales it's just like, pop. yeah <laughs> really really good uh and the head lets you fix your hand when you have a bit bit of a clunky hand but um yeah they're, they're all good they're all really good the uh the instance right okay so this is it nine players uh we digress a little bit there okay but this is the uh lineup for the top four there's no significant wins for any of these players aaron stevenson and tonus Kazoris. one of those names yeah, Steph yeah. stefanus Argrius. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry aaron, uh, I, I, a former Irishman. <laughs> what, Stefanos? Yeah, he used to live in Belfast, then he moved to the UK. Oh, nice. All right, brilliant. Okay, yeah. Koki, someone you know. Uh, Steve Charlick, um, he's just a bloody nice bloke, Steve. Um, he does a lot of um, judging um, for the UK. He was at the calling. Um, he, was at the, he was at the UK Nationals. Uh, he, he, uh, he basically runs the TO in out of um, Bad Moon Cafe. Um, Steve is a really, really nice fella and friend of the show. Uh, right, okay, so uh, let's get on to the top two. 
There we go. So, Antonis Kazuris versus uh, versus Stefanos Argyris. Argyris? Sorry. I'm sorry, Stefanos. Uh, I can't say your surname. Uh, so, who do you reckon? You going for your mate or not? Of course. Yeah, Stefano. Yeah, stick stick with your buddies. He won. Well done. Hey, let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really well, I, buddy. I hope that's it. I hope that's who I think it is. That the second name looks familiar. They're Greek. It should be, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, write a comment, Stephanos, if you know Dylan, so we know we've got the right dude. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> <That'd be embarrassing. laughs> I know him. If He's I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Sunderland, nine players. Oh my god, we've actually got a blitz. Uh, three Rhino. Oh my god, it's wild up north. Uh, a chain. Um, this must have been, uh, this was first week, so uh, chain didn't go. Uh, a Kasai, a Levia, and a Riptide. Uh, Riptide's probably a fatigue type deck with loads of traps. Yeah, more than like drone, it's probably a bit hard. Right, okay, so uh, let's see who the top four is. Okay, right, Craig Johnson. Craig Johnson won a season won a season six uh, skirmish with Dash, won two season seven skirmishes with Chain. Uh, Denzel Dino, um, I've not seen him in a top four before. Kate Muffins, um, she's a friend to the show. Um, she always makes it into the top cuts. Um, she's really good um, and always provides information. So thank you, Kate. Uh, and Kevin Damon with Riptide. So uh, Riptide's still doing okay, even though he didn't have drone. Okay, so um, this is actually who they played. So Craig played Denzel and Kate played Kevin. And this is how the final Ooh. played out. So, Reinar versus final. Levia. Brute off. Who can brute the most? Who can roll scabbies the best? I think Leviah's good here because she has the husk for intimidate turns. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Leviah win. Okay. Unfortunately, ah. the green machine... Reinar yeah. did it. Well done, Denzel. Well done. Uh, people did say, um, you know, Reinar's a good pick for Blitz. And yeah, he's picked up one. On to Excelsior down in Bristol. Uh, no duplicates. One across the board. Yoji's come out to play. Don't see Yoji very, very often. Nice. One more Reinar. An Ira. Uh, Kano. Kasai. These are sort of like the usual suspects. Uh, Kano it is nearly there. Kasai is nearly. nearly there. I think Kasai going into this weekend was on 420. She picked up yeah. 60 last week. So with more events this week, she's probably gone. So when this event comes, then this gets released on Tuesday, we've probably had the announcement that Kasai is, you know, either gone or nearly gone. And you could say the same yeah. with Kano. Okay, but let's see who the top four are. So Matthew Sarrington on Kano. He's played Kano forever. Um, so, yeah, he's a good player, Kano player. He, he qualified. He was on the last chance qualifiers for Nationals in 2022. Turned up at Dark Sphere and um, kicked ass with Kano and got into the UK Nationals. Um, yeah. Uh, Steve Andrew on Vincent. Jason Kelly on Ira. And uh, Ewan Hill on Yoji. Let's see how the final, who made it into the final. Kano versus Vincent. Fire versus Shadow. What do you reckon? I'd say Kano probably has it. Vincent has to use their hand a lot so they can't block AB. Cool. Kano did take it. There we go. You know your blitz, mate. You're a Love blitz. Blitz, mate. Well done. <laughs> well done, Matthew. You've made it on to my tally chart of wins. Uh, so, yeah, he's always desperate to get on the stream, Matt, and he's a really nice dude. Uh, right. Okay. So, Dark Sphere. Uh, one of the biggest. Now, normally, Dark Sphere have a massive turnout. You're talking like 30 odd players. But Skirmish is still one of the biggest ones. 13 players. Two Kasai, two Vincent. Uh, a KO's come out to play. That's probably Steve Charlick is probably playing KO because he, he loves KO. Um, when I went down to do some training in London, it just happened to be um, uh, Mondays is where when Bad Moon plays. And I nipped down to their shop. I was in Whitechapel, so basically I had to go past Tower of London, uh, Tower Bridge, and then on to Bad Moon Cafe. And I played Steve twice with his KO deck. And Jesus, it's frightening. Um, he, he loves that. He loves that character. Um, 
whether or not we see him uh, grow into adulthood for heavy hitters, that would be really nice. Mm. We've got a Kasai. Uh, right, okay, but let's get on to the top four. Top four, Jess Swandale on Kasai. Uh, she loves Kasai, okay? Uh, Mark Morley uh, with um, uh, Arachne, Solitary Confinement. Luke Evelyn Poulter on Bravo and Edward Cardle on Dash. And the final was between Jess mm. versus Ed. Ed is a very good Dash player. Jess is a very good Kasai player. Where are we going? Yeah. So if the Dash beat the Bravo in top four, I imagine they're on the anti-armor build that's been going around. So if they're on that build, I'd have to lean Dash. Otherwise, I'd say Kasai. So I'll say Dash. Okay. Righty. It was Jess. Well done, Jess. Well done. Fantastic. Uh, you put your time into Kasai. Uh, well deserved. Um, yeah, brilliant. Well Absolutely brilliant. Uh, used to play Bravo um, uh, with the um, with Earthlaw Bounty. Uh, played that uh, at Rule okay. Zero, and that that was a fantastic game to watch. That was really good. <laughs> that was on Push the Points um, stream. That's run by um, Sean Sean Bugalugs. Did that one, but uh, yeah, it was such a good game. Uh, right, okay, so well done, Jess. Um, uh, Wayland's Forge. This is a new shop in uh, Birmingham. Ten players, a pretty good turnout for a new shop, and um, there are. Uh, it's in the Midlands, so you can pull players in from everywhere. James Duck on Teclavossen, Gregory Radek. Uh, Mark Spilsbury and Daniel Baxendale all on Max. Gregory plays Emperor in Blitz. Uh, Mark Spilsbury is pretty much a brute dude. And Daniel Baxendale uh, loves Bolton. Um, so uh, that's those four players. Never won a major event, though. Uh, but the, the final was between Gregory Radek and Mark Spilsbury. Let's go with Mark. Mark. He's due a win. He gets into top fours a lot, but not today. Well done, Gregory. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so you're tight. You're like, oh, I'm losing my streak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, the thing is, it's a hard one because it's sealed. So you're just like, you've yeah. no idea what their sealed deck's like. Um, even though. Yeah, especially in the mirrors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he can get their hyperdrives uh, ticking along, indeed. Uh, right, okay. So level up gaming. 16 players. Fantastic turnout. This is not the highest turnout for the weekend. Level up gaming oh, in Bournemouth. Wow. Um, so the venue, no, the venue's in Plymouth. There's another shop in Bournemouth that um that runs them. Uh, they kind of split it. So Emlyn, Emlyn Ingram, he won Skirmish 7 with Dory. Uh, Ed Kennan, I've got no information on him. Francesco Giorgio. Um, so Francesco. <laughs> Francesco, shh, we don't talk about Francesco that much. He won the really? battle, he won the battle hard in Leeds 2022, and the reason I don't talk about him that much is because no nobody talks about how good he is. And he no, has he has like he's like the twelve top eights or something. He's got he? seven tier three top eight finishes. That, that's oh. that's Francesco. So Francesco and Theo are on Reinar, and Theo won a skirmish season six with Islander. Okay, so, but let's see who gets to the final. So, Emlyn, armor versus brute strength with Francesco. Uh, it's a good match. Depends if Blood Rush can get past all the armor, doesn't it? If he, if he has a yeah. bit of a middling game, uh, Emlyn's armor is going to win him through. Which way are you going? See, I feel like it's Kasai's season now, so I kind of want Kasai to win. So I'll say Kasai. Kasai. Kasai did win. See, Let's go with your gut, mate. Always helps. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, well done, Emily. Fantastic win for you with Kasai. Uh, one more step. Well done. You've made it onto the uh, roll of honour when she goes. Uh, maybe this week. Maybe it happened. Uh, right. So, Bristol uh, Geek Retreat. We had a uh, an event on the day before. That was a Blitz event at Excelsior. Now, Geek Retreat Bristol has got uh, a sealed. Um, eight players, so we've got Ash Southworth, Tim McCarthy, and Sammy Braben, all on Teclavossen. Uh, Sammy Braben, of course, he won the calling in Birmingham on yeah. Islander, and a ProQuest 4 win with Islander as well. Sam Parry on Dash, uh, he won a Skirmish 7 with Ira. Uh, so uh, let's see who made it into the final. There we go, Tim McCarthy and Sam Parry. 
Dash versus Teclo. You've no idea how many items Sam's got. You've got no idea how many Evos Teclovossen's got. Just go with your gut, mate, and give me the winner. I always have to root against Teclo, so I'll say Dash. Oh! You're back to your winning ways! (laughs) (laughs) Look at that! Nice one. Well done, Sam. (laughs) See? Go with your gut, mate. Uh. Right, okie dokie. New store time. Toys and Games of Worcester. Um, uh, some people might read that as Worcester, but in the UK we call it Worcester. Uh, so, Javier Malado Teles on Kasai. Now, Javier, he qualified for the UK Nationals by playing an RTN in Spain while he was on holiday. And why not? If you, if you need to go to another country to qualify for your own Nationals, do it. Um, it's no better feeling than to win an RTN. Uh, Leon Mitchell with five. Mark Spilsbury. He's gone back to his roots. He's playing Reinar and Benjamin Troth with Dash. So, and uh, we have Mark Spilsbury, uh, who is getting into more and more top fours. He's doing really well um, uh, with Reinar versus Benjamin Troth on Dash. I love Dash. I want Dash to win. You want Dash to win? Well, let's see. I want Dash to win. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I just need to stop. I need to stop using reasoning. <laughs> Go with your favourites, mate. Go with your favourites. He's working. You've, uh, you, yeah, you went for a sticky patch, but you're doing okay now. So well done, <laughs> Benjamin. Uh, right, okay. So that's Worcester. So hopefully uh, we'll see more from Toys and Games of Worcester in the future. Just uh, a little bit southwest of Birmingham. Uh, Dice Saloon down on the south coast, down in Brighton. Another sealed event. Two Teclavossons with Sandy Green and Oliver Ellis. And two, excuse me, and two Dash databases, Lewis Miller and Edward Cardell. So the day before, Edward was in London at Darksphere playing Dash. Now he's got sealed and he, he just can't leave Dash alone. So he's gone Dash again. Uh, so uh, let's see who's in the top two. Sandy Green and Oliver Ellis. The, the uh, old who's got the best Teclo, who can get their leveller levelling the fastest by getting all four Evos out. Because that's basically yeah. what wins this game, isn't it? I've got four Evos. The most, my the most fun mirror in Flesh and Blood. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's the Dromai mirror, mate. <laughs> uh, I enjoy the Dromai mirror. But I'm weird. Um, Who are you going for? I'm Irish, so I'm going to have to pick green, sandy green. Mate, you're on fire. You're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well done. Okay. So uh, I think we're coming up to our last, last event of the weekend. Well done, Sandy. Well done. Last event. Pro Tech Games. Stockton on Tees. Uh, my friend Lee Dalton uh, is running this one. So uh, lots of armor. Five Kasai, two Briar, two oh, Dash, geez. two Rhino. Now, the one that is blanked out is Dory. Um, there is a little problem uh, at the minute with Purple Fox, so it didn't populate Dory. Um, so, uh, and, and a sprinkling of the others. Volda Bright Axe is there. Whether or not she's playing an Earth Law deck, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll see her in Heavy Hitters. There's a Guardian. Um, are they just promoting uh, young heroes to adult? Have they come of age in the world of Heavy Hitters? Uh, so, that's the round out. 19 players. Fantastic turnout. Um, up up north, they, they do get a good turnout. Mox in the hole is next week. Um, and they've just spoiled one of their prizes, which is uh which is the Barcelona sigil. Um they're giving one of those oh, away. So um yeah. Very he, nice. He's he's putting on last um ProQuest he put on some awesome prizes and it looks like he's doing the same. I okay. might catch a flight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pay for the flight. <laughs> well, yeah, if you can get one of them. Uh, right, okay, yeah, we we just we needed a a, um, a tunic, so we've traded our sigil for a tunic. We're just like, yeah, <laughs> sod it. I need Very the tunic nice. more than the sigil. Uh, right, okay, so uh, this is the top four: Aaron Taylor on Prism, Athena Halkia on Dash, Adam Harbinson on Reinar, and Stephen Christian on uh, Katsu. Um, I don't really have any wins for any of these players, but Athena was a finalist at the ProQuest at Phoenix Rising Games last season. 
So uh, let's see who uh, made it into the final. Athena Halkia on Dash versus Stephen Christian on Katsu. Now, I will say that the Katsu deck is a fatigue deck. Okay. So uh, Dash versus Katsu. Both my favorite heroes. Oh, dear. And... You've got problems now. Yeah. <laughs> Your gut's going. It's a draw. They just split the prize of uh, a Coldfall Teclo call. One of my favorite cards is Flick Flack. And if it is a defensive Katsu, that card's really good in that matchup. So I'll say Katsu. Katsu. It was. Stephen Christian yeah. won. Well done, Stephen. You defeated Athena, the goddess of war. But I'm sure she'll come back at you next time. <laughs> She's doing good. That's, well um, that's that's two two finals she's made now. Um, so uh, I would expect get the next one. Good, yeah, expect good things from Athena. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, this is what everybody loves. Uh, the meta maps are inbound. So this is the Irish meta. We've only got sealed events. You haven't got any more, have you? This is it. This is the three. Um, I think we have the gathering is okay. left. So, so the gathering in Limerick, which is down sort Limerick, of like, yeah. yeah, sort of like southwest, uh, right on the coast, um, or that. I think in, that one's going to be so. Blitz. I think. How, how long does it take you to get there? Because you're you're. I've, right. I've never been. Are, are you Dublin based or are you Belfast based? Yeah, I'm Dublin based, and I'll go up to Belfast if the event's like a ProQuest or an RTN. Yeah. So, how long does that normally take? Yeah. Two and a half hours, probably. Is that, is that by car or is are you going by train or bus? Uh, I live like, I live pretty far from like the Dublin city centre. So it takes me an hour to get in there anyway. So <laughs> probably an hour and a half bus to get to Belfast. Right, okay. Do you, do you all go up as group? So you, you travel with Ian and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Cool. So it'll sit on the back, do you? Do you all try and get on the back? Just be as rowdy as yeah. possible. <laughs> the gang at the back. Yeah, yeah, school <laughs> trip time. Cool kids at the back of the bus. <laughs> nice. So uh, there we go. So the winners, Stephen McKeever, Teclavos, and Connor McLaughlin with Max Nitro, and Lorenzo Patron with Teclo. Um, th there's a theme to all these uh, seals. Is it's literally Teclo's winning most of them. Uh, right, okay, Scotland. Uh, more seal, Teclavos, and... Um, up uh, up at Aberdeen, David McCallum with Teclavos in there, and Andrew Rayner with Max Nitro in Dundee. Mox in the hole to come. So, England, Geek Retreat Sunderland, Denzel Dino with Reinar, and then Protect Games with Stephen Christian with Katsu. Well done, guys. Uh, and then um, in the middle, um, <laughs> it's really weird at the minute. Midlands are not really getting many tournaments. Uh, Mana Screw mm -hmm. only had two people turn up for their skirmish, so that didn't fire. Uh, and that was me and Alan. Um, so, yeah, that's why we ended up just cracking packs and playing sealed, you know. So it's just yeah. like, yeah, it was cool. We got some games anyway. So Benjamin Troth with Dash and Gregory Redek with Max Nitro. And then down south, it all seems to be happening down south. Two. Oh, shit. I've put the things in the wrong place. That was really stupid of me. Oh, no. Uh, so, uh, I'll fix that for next week. Sorry, everybody. So, uh, Dice Saloon, Brighton's Tecla Voss and Sandy Green, Excelsior Comics, Bristol, Matthew Sarrington, Kano, Geek Retreat, Bristol, with Sam Perry with Dash Database, Level Up Gaming in Bournemouth down right on the southern coast, Emily Ingram, Kasai, Toys and Games of Worcester. I've put that in the wrong place. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Benjamin Troth. Yes, I did. I put that in the wrong place. That's supposed to be uh, it's just south of Birmingham. That should be on the other map. And uh, Woking War Games, Stephanus Ag Agrius with Teclavossen. Uh, Dylan's mate, maybe. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's at least like, it's something like eight that. letters similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I say, when I see the Rius after somebody's name, I always think of uh, Troy uh, right at the beginning, where that guy, you know, the guy calls out Boagrius, and then this huge <laughs> dude comes out. That's Stefanos, massive, massive dude. Yeah. He just starts, uh, shit, I've got to play him. He's going to crush me. <laughs> Righty, London time. There we go. Let's go into London. Dark Sphere, Shepherd's Bush, Jess. Well done, Jess. Jess Swandale with Kasai. Okay, so um, if you haven't gone to a skirmish yet, one week left to go. 
Uh, let's see where the sealed are. Uh, Underworld Games in Nottingham, Gemini Games in Huddersfield. So uh, get some sealed. Uh, go to Nottingham and Huddersfield. But if Blitz is more your jam, and whether or not you're still playing Kasai and Kano, uh, it's a bit of a risk going into the last week. Um, but there's quite a lot. Um, there's one going on already. Mystic Games in Whitney. That's being streamed, streamed by Az from Go Again. So if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it uh, on his channel, Go Again Gaming. Uh, uh, tomorrow is Living Realms. Uh, so good to see Living Realms uh, running events again. Um, yeah, give us a bit of a scare, but you're back, and that's the main thing. EH Game in York, Nerd Shack, Wigan. Um, this is midweek, uh, 2nd of December. Uh, we've got Bad Moon Cafe and Just Play Liverpool, and then a massive amount of games. Uh, they're all look, they've um, squeezed it into the week after. Um, Incon Gaming, Mox in the Hole, Fanboy 3, Skywood Fire Games, so uh, the length and breadth of UK, um, and then loads more to come. So that is all the Bright Light Skirmish events. So uh, make a note in the calendar, get down there, and uh, please provide me the results um, if you go to an event. But one thing left to do. Cheers, Dylan. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll have you back. It's a pleasure. You're, you're, <laughs> you're a Blitz king, mate. You know all the results. It's fantastic. Oh, I love Blitz. <laughs> no, I hope we get more Blitz events next skirmish. I was kind of <laughs> disappointed with this sealed. I had some spicy decks I wanted to bring. <laughs> Yeah, it's just unfortunate that, that you had all sealed, um, you know, de in Ireland. Um, but thank you to the uh, Irish community that have supplied me with information. Conor McLaughlin, Jay Donaldson, Stephen McKeever and Lorenzo Patron. Thank you very much. UK, Andrew Rayner, Matagon, Steve Charlick, Eek, Mark Warren, Xavier Murphy, David from Darksphere, Bilbo, Ewan from Geek Retreat Bristol, Jev and Whippy de Bloom. Uh, Whippy does really cool all art stuff so um yeah i've got some cool foily rune chant stuff he's um was really really good um so if you're after um if you're after all was give him a give him a, a message see what he can do for you um yeah, it's rune chants i'll tell you and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good i've got one with um i bought one for my mate mike because we collect together uh, and it's got like viscerai um it's like a young viscerai at the top and then going oh. into a rune chant and it's really good uh he's done it in foil nice. as well looks really really nice um but thank you to my patrons andrew rayner bowlful mike kerslake thank you very much um uh you allowed me to make some world championship uh dice um which i gave away uh you've got one haven't you dylan i have one right here there we go look at that very nice nice one <laughs> Uh, I am not saying you should roll it if you're a brute because I have no idea how well that dice will roll. Uh, but that's the brute life for you. Um, anything you want to say before we sign off, Dylan? Uh, just want to say thank you for kind of the the platform you give to the Irish community. Like I was talking to you at Worlds. It really helps us get exposure. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of people through the show. Like I was saying at the Calling Antwerp, like a lot of UK players came up to me and said, Oh, you're the Irish player. Like, um, <laughs> it even helps me, like, just improve as a player. Like, I started testing with a lot of UK players because of it. And just uh, everyone in Ireland looks forward to the show. Like, if they get in a final or top four, they say, like, oh, I'm going to be on the the meta report so we we really appreciate the work you do thank you so much. <laughs> thank you uh yeah that's really cool the thing is the show makes the world smaller um and 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 gives you a platform like you said um so everybody gets to know you and makes it easier to go into the big events um uh, but yeah um it was my pleasure um to bring you know the island meta to to everybody um i'm chuffed that you guys just went can you do it uh there is <laughs> there is at the minute talk of another country adding to the meta report um so Ooh. we've got rtn season in january so hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes ahead and I will be bringing a new country to the Meta Report. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, so until week three of Skirmish, everybody take care. Um, hopefully you can play your chosen hero next week and uh, we shall see the results. <laughs> see ya. See ya.